Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a uh, rather unusual boxing episode of Smart to Jannah. Smart to Jannah. <laughs> so let me get this straight, yeah. Did a 40-year-old family man be the 10 years his junior super champ? And to be fair, even the presenter needed a somewhat of a reminder as well. World, you're the, the what champion? The super. You're the, the, super, the champion. super champ. <laughs> now we all know that the lead up to boxing events is filled with smack talk and controversy. It sells tickets, but this one was quite unique in the sense that the smack talk was probably one of the worst that I've seen in quite a while. He's this big, my punch is this big. You feel me? Wow. He's got hand movements in there as well. Lovely mate. Just in case we get lost in the sea of big words he's using. You feel me? Nah mate, we clearly don't feel you. Here's how much we don't feel you. And we all love him, we respect him, and I'm respectfully gonna kick the shit out. For flip's sake, someone tell this guy what boxing is. You know when you're giving so much smack talk that it just doesn't make sense. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to look for some gray hair. You know, I don't really see much. <laughs> you know, he doesn't look too aged. He's got that that Asian blood. You know, he still looks like he's almost 15 years old here. Now you're going to the other extreme, mate. It looks like you're coming on to him. I don't really see much. <laughs> you know, he... I do love Manny's laugh here. Yeah, bless him. I think he's blushing. You know, this little bunny rabbit, the way he hops around in the ring, the way he hops around in the ring, i never seen, I'm not gonna lose to no bunny rabbit, believe that, okay? Is this guy for real? I mean, let's have a cussing scenario, yeah? Your face is so ugly, that sweat has to go the other way, just so it can get away from your face. Oh uh, yeah? Well you, my friend, are a bunny rabbit. That's too far, mate. Call me anything you want. But not a bunny rabbit, yeah? You gotta know your boundaries. Manny, is there any one particular thing that Keith Thurman has said that has really bothered you more than other things that he has said? Um, sometimes, uh, I think uh, the one that gave me more, it inspired me, so motivated me, so the one he said that um, it's going to crucify me. It's going to what? Crucify me. Ah that, that <laughs> uh, yes, the classic use of religion when all else fails mate, because that is bound to get temperatures rising. I mean where on earth have we seen that before? And respect to Manny for praising God, representing faith in a time of godlessness. And I believe that I'm here to inspire the fans, inspire the people, uh, of boxing, not only that, um, you know, being a role model to everyone as as uh, as a follower of uh, of God, a follower of Jesus Christ. You're right, mate. We do need a good role model, and on top of that, to push forward a healthy lifestyle for people as they age is also very good, mate. The mindset of a of a fan of people or boxing uh, analyst when you get age so forty, um, it's going to be. You become lazy like that, or exercise is my, my favorite. Uh -huh. um, beside boxing, I always exercise, playing basketball every, almost every day, uh, four hours a day. Uh, four hours a day, though. I mean, how would that work? I mean, the people that he plays with, don't they have jobs and families? But I am glad that he showed people that 40 is not the end, and age should not really define us to that level. I mean the Prophet peace be upon him, he was given prophethood at the age of 40. If we are to use contemporary modern examples, Samuel L. Jackson, he became an A-list celebrity past the age of 40, amongst others like Steve Carell and Ricky Gervais. And you know what guys, sometimes we do panic when we don't live up to other people's timelines. Not all of our timelines are going to be the same because the trials in our life are different. Some struggle with marriage so they get married later on, some do get married but struggle with kids, some struggle with work, others may struggle with health, 
I mean, I speak to myself. There are some important things that haven't happened for me at the age of 30. I just have to pray, be patient, talk it out and do my best. And that's absolutely okay guys, yeah? Look at me, it's okay. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be this big and your punches will be this big. You feel me? Someone graduated at 21 and waited 6 years to get a job. Someone else had no education but became a millionaire at 21. Someone got married at 20 but divorced 5 years later. Someone got married at 30 and found everlasting love. Trust the timing of your life and stop comparing your path to others. You're not late, you're not early, you're right on time. Until next time guys. You're the, the super champ. champ. <laughs> Salamu alaikum.